Congratulations, loyal viewers of this channel. My name is Sean, and today we're going to talk about an absolutely insane story out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, where a girl who received taxpayer funds, a grant from the state of Minnesota, and money from the Minneapolis taxpayers, opened up a food pantry and decided that it was not only acceptable, but it's actually something noble, and you trying to stop her is an act of violence, to deny white people access to the food pantry because their starvation is just a symptom of their evil white racism and no i'm not kidding about this this is not just her putting up a sign like you might have seen all over the internet.com there are actual documented cases of her refusing service to white people based on the color of their skin and again it's a food pantry paid for by the taxpayers now we're gonna get into this but before we do i want to thank everybody who supports this channel via actual justice word okay shalom shalom kwam yashalom Koholoim la Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweshai, Bahasim Rakha Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Just a quick one, man. I was scrolling and I seen this article and I'm like, this shit can't be real. So, you know, I Googled it, of course, web search, and it's real, you know, from the looks of things, this is a real story, which says, um, white people banned from food pantry in Midwest state, um, a food pantry in Minneapolis, Minnesota is facing significant backlash after claiming that the available resources were only for black and indigenous people and asking white people to refrain from taking anything, according to the Alpha News. Michaela Kiko Jackson used Minnesota's Path to Black Health Grant. Now, notice it says Path to Black, right? <laughs> Path to Bl Black Health Grant, right? To launch the Food Trap Project Bodega at Sanctuary Covenant Church, which they ain't got no business there anyway, because the apostles always go into the fact that, you know, we're not out here, you know, uh, uh, opening up no damn soup kitchens because even Yahweh Shai even um, spoke to a lot of people about them only coming to really see him because they wanted the food. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, that's scriptural. They wasn't coming to hear the gospel. They wasn't coming to hear the, um, the kingdom is at hand and, you know, the good news of the gospel that the Lord Yahweh Shai was trying to bring to him, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Because when you do stuff like that, they're only coming there to eat. You know, they're not trying to change up no life. They're not trying to repent. They're not trying to turn from um, uh, 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 the dark shit that they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So overall, and this is some white Jesus type crap right here anyway. All these churches, you know, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all need to stay away from them Christian churches with that white Jesus crap, man, because it's going to get you destroyed because it's idolatry. See? So... What she's doing, okay, it's a, you know, okay, I can't say, it's a noble thing. She's trying to feed her people, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? But another thing, too, is what just stood out is that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you're very disliked in the earth right now, and you're reaping what you've always sown. You've been sowing bullshit for 500 years. The same shit that, 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 that they're complaining about is the same shit that they've been pushing for centuries, bro, which is amazing, man. The damn grant literally says pass the black health grant. What the hell are you trying to? You got all these different places to go, man. You got all these different resources that you can go. Uh, 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 your people own every goddamn thing. Why do you need to come? I remember it was, I think it was last year or the year before last. It was a food truck downtown. So-called black people they had hit. One of the, one of, you know, one of the hard hit areas of Detroit. And it wasn't that they wasn't even serving um, so-called white people. The motherfuckers was actually pushing through the line. And this guy, this guy was actually fussing about him being white, even though he was homeless and dirty as hell, that he should be served first. Literally, you can't make this shit up. You see, even even in, in their in, in their dirt, even just nasty and filthy as funky as hell. Homeless as hell, they still believe that. They have this, this up on the so-called blacks, man. It's crazy, man. Matter of fact, if, if I could find that story, I wish I could find it because it happened 
It had to have been about a year, two years or so ago. I remember that because it was on the news. And they had to restrain. I, I think they had to like restrain this dude, man. The, the, the so-called black woman that, that owned, you know, that owned the truck, I think it was a so-called black woman. And, and she she checked the shit out of his ass. I'm going to have to see if I can find that. But Salakia, let's read on in this, right? It says, however, a picture from the food pantry sign um, shows a sign that states the resources found in here are intended for black and indigenous. Please refrain from taking anything if you're not. So, so they're not mentioning so-called Chinese. They're not mentioning so-called Japanese. They're not mentioning so-called um, um, East Indians. They're not mentioning any of those because it says if you're not black or indigenous, don't bring your ass up in here. So why did they make it all about so-called white man? And I, and I don't even think that there was no so-called white people even trying to get anything to eat. They just seen the sign and, and just ran with it, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see. I guess this is her right here. The resource, yep, this is the sign. The, the resources found in here are intended for black and in, in, indigenous folks. Please refrain from taking anything if you're not. So this guy right here, I am Ken. With the, well, of course, with the shades on, you know what I'm saying? Looking like the goddamn grizzly bear. Probably hairy back motherfucker from a mountain. You know, Tim Waltz, Minnesota Food Pantry, bans white people. Says resources are only for blacks and indigenous folks. Is this, is this Minnesota shit what you want for America? <laughs> but hey, this is your division in America, man. This is what it's all boiling down to. Let's get that real quick. You can't make this up, man. See, the Lord is causing this division in this place because America must fall. And the only way that it can fall, well, not the only way, but a way of a, a place being um, brought to naught or brought to destruction is division. That's how you break down a home. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's been sowing discord in, in families and in, in, in throughout the world since he's been in power. That's the reason why you got North Korea, South Korea. Those are the same damn people. But the so-called white man came in and divided those people. So he got the South against, um, you know, and peddling shit to the South and got them against their people in the North. Same thing with China, Taiwan. Same with everywhere that they go. They, they Same thing with the so-called black um, family. They put the black woman against the so-called black man. They put the children against the parents. Parents against the children. That divide and conquer shit, man. So he's reaping what he's been sowing in a lot of areas, man. You can't make it up, man. And it's getting brutal for his ass. It's not looking good for you so-called white people right now, man. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them. And, and, and the name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai, man. Not no damn white Jesus. That's another thing that's being ripped out of the earth. That white Jesus crap. The Lord's name is not Jesus, man. And he wasn't some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. I repeat, Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Letter J was invented in 1524. There was no English when the Lord walked the earth. Wasn't nobody calling on no damn Jesus when he walked the earth 2,000 years ago. Because the letter J is only 500 years old. So you do the math. And the true name of the father is Yahweh. Which means that he exists or the existing one. I like to always mention that in my lessons because you got newcomers or people that have never heard that before. But the father's name is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one, man. Not no goddamn Jehovah. When no J's when the Lord walked the earth. If you get a 1611 King James Bible, you're not going to see a letter J in there. That's another lesson. But let's move on. And Yahweh said, I knew their thoughts. Matthew 12 and 25 again, Salakia. And Yahweh said, I knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. See? And the Lord is breaking up that Negroes loving America bullshit. See, Negroes, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are starting to see this place for what it is. The prison ground that, that the Lord places in, basically. The, the, the slave. This, this place is nothing but a plantation, man. For Negroes. But now, the so-called white man has treated his own people like shit. To the point where he's enslaved them as well. Now you got all these complaints. But when it was just us, no problems. No problems. Now they asses is out here drugged all out. Overdoses. Shooting up schools and shit. You know. Now there's this huge problem and, and, and they need help. 
verse 26. It's lucky for the noise. This guy passed, man. Ah, boy, I tell you. Anyway, Matthew 12 and 26. And Satan, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So if Satan cast out Satan, you know, if they fighting and bickering and shit, how they going, how they going to get along? And again, see, America holds stand up a big part of, of, of the play in, in America's huge stand and, and, and its riches and everything that it, is, it has been able to do is from the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans back and, 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 and them just moseying on along with the bullshit. From decade to decade to decade to century to century to century. And Jake just getting up going to work. They proud to be Americans. They celebrating 4th of July, Easter, and all these dumbass holidays they come up with. But now, Jake is starting to wake up and see like, nah, man, hold on. This newer generation, they not, they, 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 they not like mama and them or big mama and them. They not, they not the same. They not the same group. They not going to the um, white Jesus churches like that no more. So it, it's really plaguing Esau really bad, man, because that's a huge part of their division. And not only has the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans pulled away their power, so to speak, their own people, they can't get along. Red state, blue state, goddamn real Crips and Bloods, you know? Your LGBTQ against your damn heterosexuals. Your light skin against your dark skin. And like I said, this man, he's notorious for causing discord among brethren. Let's get that real quick. Proverbs chapter 6. Let's start at verse 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a fraud mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. This motherfucker coming back, bro. Fraudness is in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He soweth discord. And that's what this man does. He soweth discords among brethren. Yeah, to let some of that damn noise fly by. This guy, he blowing back around the block. Normally got a bunch of loud, dumbass music banging. Anyway, verse 14 again. Fraudness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. That's what he's been causing throughout the earth, man. It says, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. And this is what you're witnessing. This is what you're, you're witnessing as far as the so-called white man in this planet, right? Because think about it. Think about those the, the hurricanes right now. The main people that have been um, fucked up by the hurricanes is the so-called white people. And they're not getting no help like they would normally get. No help. Yeah, Kamala and them trying to give them $750. Like, goddamn. Shit, motherfuckers got more than, more than that during the pandemic. <laughs> Shit. You sending billions away to all these different countries as far as war, but you can't help your American citizens, and that lets you know that's a real fall for the uh, for, for the average so-called white American. They can't they can't fathom that. And you know what? The average so-called white person don't even care. They're only talking about it in the news to just get damn likes or some subs or something. The so-called white man don't care about the so-called white man. That's this is why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, come out of this place, man. Fuck this man. Uh, they need she need to be put uh, uh need a bigger sign up she, she need that motherfucker in um and in, 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 in glowing lights but this is the downfall of america's kingdom man. the downfall of the so-called white race man because they're homeless everywhere you check out some of this euro news stuff check out some of these news um um stations in other countries man just just ask um how's what's the homelessness like in europe and you're going to see all kinds of cities of tent cities all over the goddamn place with a bunch of so-called white people fentanyled and drugged the hell out, man. Because that's all they're caring about right now. They're trying to get high. All they're trying to do is, 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 is get high and get away from the reality of this world, man. Verse 15 again. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So the Lord hates, hates stuff, man. He hates things. He hates um, sin. He hates uh, the uh, 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 matter of fact, the scripture says that. Um, 
how is it worded roughly paraphrasing he hates the, the workers of iniquity right but it says a proud look a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood this is all this man has been doing since he's been in power and a heart that divides it wicked imaginations feet that be feet that be swiping and running running to mischief a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren see those are things that the Lord hate. All seven of those things are an abomination to the Lord. And guess who does all those, all, all seven of those things the best? The so-called white race, man. They're all over the planet fucking with people. You know, stealing, raping, robbing, pillaging, just acting as if they just own the whole fucking planet. Motherfuckers all out in space. They all in the damn oceans with, with nuclear submarines. You know, so you can't say that, that, that this is not this man. This man, this is talking about him. Well, let's go back to the article because it's beautiful to me. You ask me. And these so-called white people be pissed, man. They're pissed right now because it's not going well for them. Okay, it says, Alpha News reported that Jackson's alleged discrimination against white people caused the food pantry to, to relocate to another location after the Sanctuary Covenant Church was notified of the situation. She could have opened that shit up anywhere. You didn't need to go to no damn church. The fuck you trying you trying to you trying to feed your people physically, but you're 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 starving them spiritually. Yeah, your 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 people come up to these fucking churches and 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 trying to get them to convert to fucking white Jesus Christianity, man. You're destroying them. You might as well just let them go hungry. Shit. Anyway. And that was pretty much it. Let me see here. It got a little bit more. This is not a building community. It's destroying it, Dotson said. See? See, they want you to build with them, but they ain't never built shit with you. It's only a problem when things are against them. That's the, that's the only time that, that they want you, you they, they want solidarity. The fuck you mean community? <laughs> the hell out of here, man. It says, I went over there and confronted her. I told her that I saw the sign and I asked if she really thought she could take grant money from the state and discriminate against poor white people. But what did the grant say? According to the Alpha News, Dotson filed a complaint against Jackson's food pantry. Of course, see the so-called white man, he can't get a part of it. He wants to tear the shit down. We can't eat. You so-called black people, you can't fucking eat neither. Right? And, and the grant wasn't even for them. Right? It says prompting Jackson to argue that the complaint stemmed from the chaplain's white privilege. Jackson added, you shouldn't have been there anyway. There was no... There was no one there directly turning them away. They felt entitled to the resources that were not for their demographic. White privilege is real. See? But you shouldn't have been there. There was no other place that you could have done that at. If you got a grant, you should have been able to ship. I mean, I don't know hell. What, you know? Could have pushed for a food truck, old ass food truck, used food truck, and pulled up. Right in the neighborhoods where, where the shit was needed. But you know, you gotta but you still gotta watch Jake. Jake's so goddamn stupid. You know? It says in a post on Instagram, the Food Trap um, Project Bodega confirmed that it was currently closed while preparing for a relocation to Zara Wellness. In a statement obtained by Post Millennial, Jackson explained, although the church likes our concept, they feel our commitment towards directing these resources to towards black and indigenous families only is exclusionary to other POC and white members of the community that use their establishment. The po See, that's what I'm saying. See, Jake just stupid as hell. Fuck what you thinking anyway. The Post Millennial reported that Jackson also attempted to justify the reason behind the food pantry's exclusion of white people saying white neighborhoods have an average of four times as many supermarkets as predominantly black communities well that's what you should have put on your grant to try and get you something where you could have just dealt with your people in your own neighborhood what the fuck would you set up at a so-called white person's church or, or white jesus church with white people and, and you think it, come on man they're the ones that's pushing you being all together with the asses they're the ones that's pushing you know what i'm saying that we're all one people You see, that's just silly, man. Jake don't be thinking things through. Following the backlash against Jackson's food pantry, the Sanctuary Covenant Church told Alpha News that Jackson's food pantry policies did not align with the vision and mission of the sanctuary. The church said when Michaela Jackson approached us to set up her food trap project, we were excited 
to support her. This would be a place accessible to anyone 24-7. No demographic information necessary. Anyone, is ne anyone in need, every, anyone in need would be welcome. Which is like I said, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know. You get a, a, a black, you get a grant from, you know, for some black shit. And then you go to some white people to, 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 to then think that it's going to happen right. Get back, that's, boy. Anyway. But anyway, the point, again, let's, let me get this one back right here again. Verse 15, Proverbs 6 and 15. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. And Esau is through, man. The so-called white man is done. Even, even on the strength of, first off, you, you, you wouldn't even let niggas sit in your restaurants. This wasn't even that long ago. Jake was walking in the back of fucking stores, man. Jake was, you had a whole separate water fountain for Jake. Now all of a sudden, you, you motherfuckers want to eat some food from Jake? You found us to be so dirty and disgusting that you ain't even want nothing to do with us. Now all of a sudden, your ass is, your people are out here struggling on the streets. In every major city, looking, ugh. Now, hey, Jake got to lock their doors when, when they see you now. Remember back in the day, they, they still do that shit to this day, though. But they, they used to, uh, click, click. You know, they see Jake walking by, so-called black, Hispanic or Native American walking by, and they hitting the goddamn locks. You hear the locks, they clutching their purses. Now, you got to do that with them. Jake pulling up nice as shit in, in some way far nicer than what they driving. You better click your damn locks, man, when you see uh, uh, Esau out there on them corners with that fucking cardboard, man. And I see them all the time. They not doing well. I see them all the time. And, 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 and matter of fact, I got to say, it ain't just Esau now. I be seeing motherfucking East Indians. I be seeing Elamites. I don't. I guess I don't live close enough to really see no. I'm, but I'm sure some damn, um, some damn, um, um, uh, uh, um, Moabites too. Chinese, Japanese. Hey, a lot of these people not doing well. And a lot of these people, they they got their business. They, a lot of them are selling these businesses, getting what they can, and they and they and they taking their asses back to them countries they come from because they see that America is falling. The money is not there no more. And that's all that these, these, uh, these, uh, these real immigrants come in here to do. They come in here, set up shop to make money. They're not here to uh, put into no, no American nothing, man. You see the Chinese people, man. If you ever see a Chinese person driving a Ford or a fucking Chevy, or you crazy, man. They ain't driving none of that shit, man. They driving what their, their country produces. Japanese people are driving what their country produces. They don't come here to, um, and you don't see no, no, no American flags in their damn yards. You don't even see the so-called white man. He's not trying to um, entice them to join their armies. Guess who they got a commercial for, you niggas? They got a commercial on, on while you're watching your favorite NFL game, hey, here's a nigga, uh, 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 you know, parachuting out of a goddamn helicopter, looking like he, you know, is so fun in a video game, and they're promoting to you that you should come and, and join their military because you're so American. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all better wake y'all asses up, man. So, <laughs> so lock you for the language. Like, for real, the shit gets you excited, though, man. These people is fucking it, it, the audacity of these people, man. As a matter of fact, I did want to try and see some. Let me see some real quick. So, Lucky. Hey, the internet, man. Don't, hey, they don't get rid of nothing on the internet. I was just talking about that. Um, that wasn't in Detroit. That was, I think it was in LA with the so called black woman that had it. She was going out to help the homeless, and a fucking so called white guy ran up and, and, and was acting like he should be served first, man. So, let's, let's, let's play it. Matter of fact, let me get to the point where well, this lady right here, she, I don't want no, um, no copyright hookup, though. But this was last year. I knew I had seen it. No matter of fact, let's just get her, let's get the intro. Who runs the Beauty to the Streets nonprofit organization traveled to Las Vegas to spread the love that she normally spreads in Los Angeles, California to the homeless population when she had to get somebody in check for the following. Check it out. I'm saying, I know you're not out there talking like that. I know you're not out there talking like that. You are going to ruin it for everybody. No, you're going to, no, excuse me, let me speak. Let me speak. Because I heard your speech and it's quite frankly rude. You are over there. Listen, sir, we drove all the way from Los Angeles. Don't lean on that. Don't lean on that. Let me finish. You are responsible for you. 
You being the only white person in that line, we have lived that plight all our life of being the only black person in the space not feeling protected and safe. We are not here to hear your cup of tears. Stand in that line, do the best you can. Do not come over here bullying us. And the fact that you would pick up that phone and call the police because you think you are not being served properly and f it up for the rest of these people in the heat, I find it quite frankly selfish and rude. And I have nothing else to say. If you call those police on those people, I hope this community comes for you. That's rude. We are not here for you. We're here for all of you. And you're making it about you. See? See? I I'm going to clip it right there. See? And I remember that, man, because I'm trying to think that I do a lesson on it. But this is the privilege of these people. He's about to call the police, man, because he's not being served properly first. A fucking homeless so-called white man. This is the way that these motherfuckers think, man. And that ain't changed. But this is their kingdom. But why don't you think that he's somewhere amongst his people? You know, white, you, guess who will give so-called white people money first? Out of a so-called um, black or so-called white person. It's always the so-called blacks because they understand that the so-called blacks have a heart. We're compassionate people. They know that. They know full goddamn well that they ask a so-called white, their own people for something. They ask is not getting a goddamn thing. I was just on a, um, a, a busy intersection and I rarely go through there. But when I do, it's a light that you stop at and they, and they on all four corners. And I'm talking about this is a busy ass intersection. Do you know that? None of those so-called white people roll their window down and hand out no money. The only people that's rolling down their window that's handing out some money is so-called black people to these fucking crackers, man. Which is stupid as hell. I leave my window up and don't even look at their asses. Don't even come up to my window, bro. All your people, this is your city. See? So this is what they're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so. Uh, 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 <laughs> when the tables turn, though, this shit is crazy. <laughs> like she was going, she, I remembered this though, because I think it it, it kind of went viral on a few news stations. Maybe I seen it in Detroit. I know I seen it in Detroit because I'm here, but it, I think it was something that possibly played on the Detroit news here too. But I'm like, God damn, bro, what kind of shit is that? This dude is about to call 911. Even a homeless person will call the police on your ass and get you popped, man. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray, to <laughs> I pray that the lesson was edifying with that Kwame Yashala and the bubble ball, man. This shit is retarded, bro. Walk away. He don't call the police because I'm talking about he the only white person. He don't want to stand with all them black people because of the way they treat him. I know I did not. Did I hear what I heard him say? <laughs> With that shallow wall, man.